you very much indeed. Marvellous studio audience and welcome to you at home. I'm going to tell you, not a lot of people know this, but I actually went to Cambridge. I was, I was going to Peterborough, really, but <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible with the maps. No, but quite seriously, I was, I was honoured last year to be asked to speak at the Oxford and Cambridge unions. Now, that's not the place where they pay the subs. It's actually a very elitist debating society, two of them, both Oxford and Cambridge, who produce the nation's leaders. They've all been Gladstone, everybody's been there. And I tell you, honestly, they prepare, they're prepared, all these people who go there are prepared to lead the nation. And, you know, I couldn't believe it. They all watch Bullseye. And why? You're not going to believe it. I asked to Don, you know, I said, hey, Don, I said, um, why do you watch, why do you watch Bullseye? He said, you'll never believe this old chap. But we watch it every week. We have a little gamble to see how many pairs of white socks there are on the show. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So next time you're lectured by a politician, right, being told about the state of the country and it's your fault why we're not working hard enough and not producing enough, you'll be pleased to know that he probably spent three years at Oxford counting the number of pairs of white socks on Bullseye for three years. <laughs> hey? Now you probably feel a lot better for that, don't you? Quite right, bully. Now then, we hope our contestants tonight are going to feel all the better when they've played on this, what we hope is going to be a marvellous edition of Bullseye. Let's meet our contestants. <laughs> Welcome to Nottingham, Paul. How are you? All right, thanks. Good. Nice to see you. You're from Swansea. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, a delivery driver for uh, builders' merchants. So it's all the breeze blocks and the... Breeze blocks and the sand and all in. Every, and do you have to offload it yourself? Uh, well, I take some blocks, so, but mostly it's tipping loads of sand. Yeah, sure, well. sure. So you don't have to do too much of the offloading yourself. No. That's hard work, isn't it? Yeah. You beat one of our favourites, didn't you? Yeah, Bob Anderson. Yeah, yeah, he's a good lad, isn't he? Yeah, he's great. Great for the game, isn't yes. he? Yes. Lovely fellow as well, on and off the, off the, the hockey, as we might say. Nice to see you, Paul. Yeah, have a good nice. night with us. John Pillinger, you're from, you're from Swansea as well. Good evening, what, Jim, yeah. What do you do, John? Uh, service engineer on weighing scales in supermarkets, food processors. Really? That sort of thing. That's interesting. You've got a, a, quite a fascinating hobby. What, we fish? Yeah. Tropical fish, yeah. I think that's fascinating. <laughs> nice to see you both. Thanks for coming to see us. Sean from Dartford, who I know Dartford well. Tell us about your first date. <laughs> oh, this is not fair. Go on, Sean, we're with you. Go on, tell us. No, I met this girl, like, it's Jane. Yeah. And I, I said to her, like, I'll take you out up, uptown, like, it's up London. So she said, yeah, all right then. So she's got done right up and out. I took her out and she said, where are we going? I said, hold on, you'll find out. So I took her up to have a look at Mule's ground. <laughs> that was it? Yeah. You took her to Millwall Football Club to, for, as a night out? Yeah. They wasn't playing. They weren't playing? No. Oh, that's a consolation, I suppose, <laughs> isn't it? That's a, yeah. Now then, Mickey, you, uh, you drive a lorry? Yeah, I used to be. Everything? Yeah, deliver well, everything. mainly building materials. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah all right. right. Are you long distance stuff, or is it? No, fairly local. Round, uh, round in, and you're from Bexley, so yeah. you're sort of. Are you good mates at yeah. home? You live oh, quite yeah. close. Bexley and Dalf are quite close, aren't they? That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We've got uh, a couple from, Co well, Stafford, Staffs, Midlands, Midlands, not too far for you to come, Will. No, that's yeah. right. That's, that's right. right. Fascinating job. Tell us what you do. Uh, I make tyres, I build tyres. You uh, build them? Yeah. Other different components. <coughs> Are these the tyres we have on everyday cars? Yeah, uh, truck tyres mainly. Yeah, HG. Th 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 so yeah, Mickey yeah. will be driving on your tyres possibly. Possibility, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you put what is it? The steel and then the different. Steel and uh, rubber. Yeah. Well, carbon black and synthetic really. How are you, Margaret? Fine, thanks. <laughs> nice to see you. And you're a school teacher. I am. Yeah, that's lovely. Where did you meet your husband? I met my husband in a laundrette. I've been doing his washing ever since. <laughs> So there's a story about your dog and, and, and our friend Greeny. Yeah. Um, we've got a, a little cavalier spaniel and he's allergic to Tony Green's voice. You're joking. No. <laughs> you mean on the telly when he does yeah. his in-one? And... As soon as he says in-one, it doesn't matter what the dog's doing, whether he's asleep, whether he's in the garden or what, he just starts barking, running around the house, jumping at the windows and the doors. <laughs> You're joking. I'm not, and he won't stop until it's finished. Until we've got the prize board thing. Yeah. He has the same effect on us. <laughs> <laughs> Six superb contestants. Give them a round of applause. Well done. That's it. Really good. Really good. Come on, let's do it. Have a good night. Go on off again. Go on. Right. All right, Johnny. Yes, yeah. What about the socks? 
One white gin. Just the one. Only one. That sorted you out, Oxford, hasn't it? Just the one sock for Tony Green. <laughs> right, here we are. <laughs> Welcome qu questions waiting to be answered. There they are. And over there, our contestants waiting to do just that. OK, to remind you at home, correct answers were £30 in the first round, 50 100 and so on. Let's play bullseye. What do you think, John, for Paul? Uh, words, please, Jim. All right, come on, young Paul, let's have words. Here we go. Good, Paul. Let's have a look. Well, he went for bullseye, is it? History, Jim. Here we go, John. In the United Kingdom, women didn't get a politically equal vote with men until 1928. Who led the British suffragettes campaign? Was it Emily Pankhurst, Jim? It was indeed, so it gets you £30. We move on. Mickey for Sean. Faces, please, Jim. Faces we want, Mickey, please. Well, it's just in places, Jim, not On the places. wire. This is places. To which town in France do thousands of pilgrims go each year in the hope of a miraculous cure? Is it Lourdes, Jim? It was Lourdes is right, sir. They should take the English cricket team there. Right, we we'll move on. <laughs> what do you think, Margaret? Uh, can I have faces, please? We'll do our best for you, my love. Come on, Gwil. 50. No problem. Well 50 pounds you have. For another 30, only for you, Margaret. Plenty of time. Who's that? It's, um... Now, just nice and steady. You know it is. Yeah, it's Russell Graham. Of course it is, yes, that's right. If he lost a bit of weight, he could be a sumo wrestler, you know. That's fine. <laughs> All right, we'll move. that's at the end of that round. £30 playing £30 playing £80. That's fine. <laughs> OK. <laughs> we move on. Round two, £50 a question. Slightly more difficult. Look at the categories. They're fast disappearing. The ones that are lit, those are the ones we can choose. John for Paul. I'll try Britain, please, Jim. All right, Great Britain we'd like, please, Paul. 50. 50 pounds you have. For another 50 pounds, John, tell me this. Which two seaports are linked by the Mersey Tunnel? Liverpool and Birkenhead. Absolutely right, sir. Gives you another 50 pounds. We move on. Mickey for Sean. Sport, please, Jim. Sport, my son. There we are. Sean, sport, please. That's 50, Jim. There's a lad. Well done, Sean. Mickey, another £50, if you can tell me this. Which entrepreneur introduced the World Series cricket? Kerry Packer. Yeah, absolutely right. We move on. What do you think, Margaret? Um, could I have books, please, Jim? Let me just settle down. <laughs> books. Yes, that's 50, Jim. See? It's easy. Margaret, another £50, if you can tell me this. In March 1991, Nancy Reagan... The unauthorised biography was published in America and it created an uproar. Who wrote it? Um, you know the lady. Kitty... Yeah, go Ker on. Kirby? Kitty Kelly. Kelly. There we are, that's it at the end of round two. All of you with £130, no problem. <laughs> Here we go for the last time, John, on this board. Words, please, Jim. All right. Well, that's gone in books and it's gone, Jim. Mickey for sure. Showbiz, please, Jim. Showbiz we'd like, please, Sean. And that's in affairs. Oh. The subject's there. Here we go. For £100, which is John Major's constituency? No, sorry, Jim. No idea. Don't apologise. We feel sorry for you, in a way. It's Huntingdon. We move on. Now, Margaret, chance for you to make a name for yourself. Choose a subject. <laughs> Showbiz, please. Yes. Showbiz grill. Oh, unlucky. Not even in the board. I believe it. So, at the end of round three in game one, I don't believe it, everybody's got £130. <laughs> right. All to play for. We move on to game two now. The three dart players competing three rounds of darts against each other to win for the partner question. And the value of that question is the highest score. It's pounds for points. Over to Tony. One. Trouble 20. And 20, which is 81. There's the score, Sean. 81.
20. One. And treble 20, 81. <laughs> Eighty-one one grill, that's the score you need. Eighteen. Twenty. And five, which is forty-three. So we have a tie on eighty-one, Jim. OK. John and Mickey, in which part of your body is your epiglottis? There's a light on there, and it's John. In your throat. Your throat gives you eighty-one pounds. Gives us. 211 pounds, playing 130 pounds, playing 130 pounds. Back to two. Thank you. OK, Paul. It's five. 20. And 20, 45. That's the score, Sean, 45. 20, 20, and 19. So that's 59, and that's the score to beat, Paul. It's 5, 18, and treble 20, which gives you 83 and takes the second round, Jim. Well done. Well done indeed. <laughs> now then, Margaret. <clears throat> Listen carefully, this can take you into the lead. Which branch of the police is nicknamed the Sweeney? CID. We can offer that for £59 to Mickey. Fraud squad. We can offer that for £45 to John. Flying squad, yeah. The flying squad, Sweeney Todd, rhyming slang, gives you £45. Gives us £256, playing the other two couples with £130 each. Back to Tony. <laughs> OK? All on this round, Phil. It's one. Treble one. And 20. So that's 24. All right. OK, Sean, 24 to me. Twenty. Treble five. And treble one, so that's thirty-eight, and that's the score to beat, well. Twenty. Nine. And one, which is 30, so with 38, Sean takes the final round, Jim. Well, Mickey, it's a little bit late in the day, but it's 38 pounds for you, you can tell me this. Which poison has a characteristic smell of bitter almonds? Arsenic. I can offer that now for 30 pounds to Margaret. Strychnine. It's not for 24 pounds, John. Cyanide, Jim. You've come in through the back door again there, haven't you? Absolutely right. £24 you've got, which gives us... Well, we've got the, our couples, Mickey and Sean, with £130, and Margaret and Gwil with £130. They've got to go, sadly. We've got John and Paul with £280 on bullish prize board. So, Mickey and Sean, Margaret and Gwil, in your front. <laughs> come on, Margaret. Come on, my love. And you come. Strickling, you were all round it, weren't you? Kitty Kelly, oh dear, you're so near every one of them. Never mind, it's not a problem. You've got £130, the two of you, and so have you. It's been marvellous, have you? Have you enjoyed it? Yes, yeah, it's been yeah. good. You've been Quite great to have you. You've been all right. You feel better now, don't yeah, you? Do you? <laughs> it feels better, it's all over. We'll see you in the second half. Don't leave us, I'll count this money out. We've got a great second half for you. Stay with us. <laughs> This is an addition. This has got its ups and downs, hasn't it? John, you did get there through the back door, didn't you? Just me? about, yeah. Oh, dear. What, what did you say to me in that break, then? Dad can't get any worse, can he? Yeah, well, I was going to say that. I mean, they can't go worse than that, because, I mean, we've seen you playing all day. Superb and ridiculous, wasn't it? 
ridiculous. So it's got to get better. It's going to get better for you now because we're going to throw for a charity, which you're going to choose, of course. We've got uh, a gentleman from my neck of the woods. Um, I've been privileged to watch this man grow in the world of darts from a relatively unknown in Lancaster to being one of the best in the world. Please welcome 301 or more we'd like as he throws for charity, Alan Warriner. Yeah. Where are you, Alan? Thank you. That's a nice applause. Best of luck, mate. 20. 20. And treble one, unfortunate. 43, Alan. Treble 20. 20. And treble 20, 140. <laughs> well done, Alan. Same again, Alan. Twenty. Twenty. And twenty sixty. So near, Alan. Still two hundred and forty-three. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Alan. Come on, Alan. How are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> you. Uh... You could have given us a lift down, couldn't you, really, today? I could have done, yeah. You could have dropped so. me off, that's right, yeah. You work as a psychiatric nurse still, even though you rank one of the best in the world. I do, yeah. How do you manage to fit the two in, Alan? Um, a lot of travelling and a lot of sleepless nights. A lot yeah. of sleepless nights, that's yeah. right. Tell us about the worst defeat you ever, you ever suffered. <laughs> now, I was doing a, an exhibition down south, and um, after I finished the exhibition, a lovely old lady came up to me and says, would you mind playing me at the end? I said, no, certainly. She said, I don't want to uh, play a thousand and one like you do. I just want to play one or one. I said, certainly, yeah. So I gave her the dart. Yeah, go first. She went up and she went, double 20, single one, double top, and turned around and shook my hand. and said, that's a double brand you owe me. Oh. <laughs> never threw a dart? No, never threw a dart. Have you, got, uh, have you got a message for that lady? Yeah, don't come again. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, we've got uh, £243 for charity. Where's it going, John? It's for the local dogs home in Swansea. Yes, now, we don't often get the charity money goes to animals, so it's nice now and again when it does. It is in a bit of trouble down yeah, there, despite right. the help from the RSPCS, right, yeah. so that will, that will go to uh, maybe yeah. uh, extend its life. Yeah, I, so. I know you want to wish him all the best, Alan. Thanks for coming. It's always Thanks. a pleasure to have you on the programme. Thanks, Alan. So. All right, Thanks. and I'm delighted at your success. Keep it up. Thanks, Thanks very much indeed. Yeah. Alan Warren. <laughs> Right. It's downhill from now on, all right. <clears throat> Let's look at what Bullish Prize Board's got for you tonight. In one. For curry in a hurry and rice in a trice, a superb microwave oven. In two. It's David Bellamy's shaving kit, a strummer and lawn raker. In three. Win the boat race in your own living room with this keep fit rowing machine. In four. A mini TV for all those mini TV series. In Five. It's a 35mm compact camera. Is it idiot proof? Put it like this, you could use it. In six. A 21 piece tea service. Better make that a 101 piece, Jim. No, oh, you'll pay for that, Greeny. In seven. Lie in with Judith Chalmers with this stylish clock radio. In eight. It's Ronnie Corbett's runabout. It's a child's off road electric three wheeler. And Bully's special prize. A three-piece suite for the gnomes. Yes, it's a set of garden furniture. Now, you threw the difficult honestly, you threw the difficult bit. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. All the prizes are behind the red bits, OK? It's a test of memory as, as well as skill. Try and remember where the prizes are you wanted. You've got nine darts for nine prizes. First three for you. Remember what we've told you. Take your time. I wish you all the best. Here OK, we go. Paul. Settle into it. That's it. Do it at your own pace. Best of luck. That's red, it's number one. That's what you wanted, the microwave. It's black. Black again, unfortunately. You wanted four as well. That's no problem. In you go. You're three now. Your light's gone out, so that's told you what you've won. OK, John. That's red. It's number five. Fine. That's the 35mm camera. Well done, boys. You're getting your act together now. Well. Red number four. No problem. That's the mini portable TV. You're going very well. 
But unfortunately, oh, yeah. that's in five, so yeah. you have lost that prize. You've lost the 35 mil camera. And nothing Hello, in this game for two in a bed. All right, <laughs> come on. <clears throat> what have you heard that, Paul? John said, Did win you get it back. That? He said, try and win it back. Okay, so. There's your nothing in this game for two in a bed. Black. But that's red, it's number five. You've got the camera back. And finishing with red number well eight. Well done, Jim. that's the child's electric three wheeler. Let's have a look at what you've won. You have won the microwave, the mini portable TV, eventually the 35mm camera, and the child's electric three wheeler bike. That's all right, nice drive. That's all right, but okay. Mm. The money, the charity money for the dog's home, that's on its way at the end of the programme, straight down there to your hometown. The £280, however, that you won yourselves, is now on the line, along with the prizes. Would you like to gamble the prizes and your money for tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? 101 or more with six darts. Three for you, John, and three for you, Paul. If you win, everything's yours. The money, the prizes, and the star prize. If you lose, you know by now, it's BFH, Bus Fair Home. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you want to do. You're both playing well, lads. I can say no more than that. What do you think? What do you think? Well, I'm saying nothing. You said all the time that when we come up, we gamble. Whatever happens, you're going to have a go. We wish you all the best. Please, come on. Take your time. It doesn't matter how long you need. John, wait. Take your time. 101 or more. Okay, John, John, go first. Like I say, just take your time. There is no rush. All the time in the world. Settle into it. 101 or more. Take tonight's star prize. The best of luck, John. It's 20. 20. Another 20. That's 60. What a lovely yeah. start, John. Lovely start. Paul, yeah. just the yeah, same, nice and steady. It's 41. <laughs> or more, please. Thank you. Yeah. Treble 20! Oh. Yeah. Stay with me. Think, come with me. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Look at it. Look at it. Come on. Look at it. You get it. You got it. I've got to tell you, uh, these two guys are quite they're quite pleased with this, really. Um, <laughs> there's nothing more we can say. What a, what a, what a show. Thanks to Alan Warren, he's been brilliant. Thanks for the money. It's on its way to your dog's home. You've got your bullies, your tankers, all your prizes, the camera, you can keep that. Keep the camera. All right. Thanks very much to you for watching. Thanks all of you for watching Bullseye. Watch us next week, of course, with Tony Green and, and, uh, and Alan Warren. Don't forget those two either. See you next week on Bullseye. You can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. <laughs>